Parkstone International is pleased to present you. Ilya Repin. Written by Grigory Sternin, and Yelena Kirilina. Ilya Repin enjoyed more fame and recognition during his lifetime than any other Russian artist born in the 19th century. Repin's position in the world of pictorial art was comparable to that of Leo Tolstoy in the world of letters. For 25 years, every new picture by Repin was awaited with bated breath, and the publication of his essays, especially those written at the turn of the century, always caused a stir in the cultural life of the country. Acutely aware of the social problems of his day and in tune with the restless spirit of the times, Repin produced works that contained all the essential features of late 19th century Russian realism, and it was in part thanks to him that Russian art came to play a significant role in European culture. Even early on in his career, the artist's pictures attracted the attention of critics at international exhibitions. They recognized in his work the beginnings of a creative search which was to enrich the general development of critical realism in European art. When Repin produced his first independent works, it became clear that a form of art was taking root in Russia which was imbued with civic feeling and akin to the work of such major realists as Courbet in France, Menzel in Germany, and Munkaxi in Hungary. The creative world of Repin possessed a special spiritual integrity, which existed not despite of, but because of the diversity of the artist's creative goals and the breadth of his grasp of reality. This integrity was inseparably bound up with the general character of Russian artistic culture in the second half of the 19th century striving to realize its social and historical mission. As is the case with many great masters, Repin had certain favorite subjects, motifs and images, and a limited circle of people whose portraits he especially liked to paint. But the deep sense of purpose in his aesthetics went further than this, for he possessed first and foremost the great artistic gift to sense the spirit of the age and to see the way in which this spirit was reflected in the lives and characters of individuals. It does not particularly flatter the artist to say that the figures in his canvases and portraits belong to their time, the same could be said regarding the work of any of his contemporaries, even the mediocre ones. If you wish to learn more about the history of Ilya Repin, you can find the book on the present platforms.